What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another Ball Carter video. We are opening up our last three boxes of uh, Tops Series 2 2024 Fanatics exclusive uh, boxes. Um, last three boxes, I only got 10 total, so um, didn't buy a ton of Series 2, but I thought I got to at least open up some Series 2. I got to complete my uh, Stars of the MLB sets. <laughs> uh, I got to find some use for them. So, um, yep, we've actually had some pretty good hits like really big hits in these boxes so far, just not big names. We've had a true photo variation. We've had an auto and a gold mirror. So we've done really well. Just, I mean, all three, all three are guys I've never heard of. So uh, I'm going to take my special mints because I want, I want some big names. I want to actually hit some good names, like some good aquas, at least if we hit a big card, like an auto or variation of something like, I'm waiting for an SP. Let's get one of those rookie SPs or something. So, all right, let's go ahead and get started. Box number one here. Hey, special shout out to JP Acrylic Studio. I uh, really like talking to you uh, in the comments. I'm um, glad you enjoy the channel. I always see you popping up in there. Someday I, I, I want to do some live videos, but I kind of feel like I need to build up the subscribers first before I can go live and be kind of fun to talk to a lot of you guys live kind of have that experience and stuff with some good products but i would say our goal right now get it up get up to 200 subscribers so if you guys like this channel or like the content please like and subscribe we'll uh we'll go live eventually i kind of feel like i gotta get to like 500 subscribers before we can really really go live because you probably want to have at least i don't know 20 50 people uh it'd be a lot more fun that way uh, maybe we'll have a beer while we do it too. That'd be kind of fun. Watch some baseball games. Um, like I did in the last video, I'm just going to fly through the base. Uh, it, I don't know. I don't know. I, I kind of like to go through and see the rookies, but I'll go back through later on and, and do that. So we got Garrett Stubbs. And we got Stars MLB. Actually, I'm going to put that there. That there we have i've completed one set of the stars mlb i need working on the other one i need 13 more cards so hopefully in this opening we can hit that so we had a junior caminario on top of the last pack and a mason win on this pack so not bad i will say in the collation i separate a lot of the good rookies out when i went through the last video there's three really big ones that are almost probably in the same pack because they were all right next to each other so so if you hit the right box, you're going to hit a lot of good base rookies. So we got a Jordan on the insert and a Sean Bouchard. You're averaging probably about 12 parallels a box. Sometimes you can get 13. At least one numbered, one retail blue, one rainbow foil. Not always, but on average. And then you got your nine aquas. We got a nice rainbow foil. I mean, it's of the A's if I call that nice. We got Marcus Stroman, and that's it. I keep saying too, I don't, the good rookies, man, they just feel like they just don't, there's just not as many aquas of the good rookies. Almost like they don't, they don't print as many of them just to make them a little harder to hit. We got Freddie Freeman. I love, the, love these. These are like the new black golds in my opinion. You get a black border or a red border parallel of these. It'd look pretty sweet. Sosa. Um, but, and also the aqua parallels, I actually think they're more rare than the yellows, the hanger boxes. Um, Cause people kind of talk about their equal value. If you go on eBay, the aquas, they have more value. They're, they're uh, a little harder to buy, a little more expensive. Um, backwards card. Oh, it's numbered. So this is going to be a green of Andrew Haney. Again, another parallel of some guy. <laughs> uh, I just need the names. Josh Hader. Um, just because I was looking to buy some Jason Dominguez because it's, it's my PC. Um, before he got hurt, which I'm still going to PC him, but um i think i bought a yellow of him about seven bucks but then i couldn't i nice show hey here but i could not find right there but i could not find his aqua for less than 20 i think i ended up getting one for 17 or 18 bucks which 
like almost two or three times more. So, and there were not very many on eBay. There were plenty of yellows on eBay, but like, I couldn't find aquas. So it makes me think aquas are a little more rare, which is another bonus for the set. Paul Goldschmidt, um, not a good home run challenge guy because he doesn't hit home runs anymore. <laughs> kind of old, not having a great season. I already had him in another one, and I was kind of seeing his stats. I'm like, yeah, he's not gonna hit one. You need like you need a big home run hitter on those. Tristan Cassis, interesting guy. Saw him get interviewed on one of his games. Reese McGuire. Right there. So, nothing big here. The mints are failing me so far. Like, come on. Come on. We got uh, retail blue still. We should be getting a retail blue, I think. There we go. Yep. Uh, nice card there, Bobby Witt. Mike Trout. Will Smith on the retail blue. Dodgers. Not a bad card since Dodgers. Spencer Steer. Probably our best aqua so far <laughs> uh, of this opening. I think the only good rookie we've hit out of like, I would say, I don't know, how many have we done? 60 or 70 aquas? We hit a peak crow aqua. That's, and that's like the only good solid rookie in the aqua. We got 18 left with two boxes. So uh, I did the tree mints, man. Tree mints always bring the, the good stuff. So let's see. All right, home run challenge, Randy Rosarino. He is like the most common one. <laughs> uh, it's a good one to get, though. Karaska, and then we got stars. Hopefully I'm getting the, the 13 stars of the MLB, guys, that uh, I'm missing for the second set. Um, we got a gold coming up. Because I'm trying to... The stars of the MLB are a lot more valuable if you complete the whole set, Series 1 through Update, because people actually... They do collect it. All right, we got a gold. And Jose Tanya, so not... Not bad. I mean, he's a he's a decent rookie. We got a Bo Bichette and a Joe Kelly. This is not bad. I will take a gold Jose Tanya. Tanya. I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it. Um, I remember, gosh, what was he? 2021 Bowman, I think. I just remember. I remember collecting his first Bowman a little bit. He seemed like a decent prospect at the time. So, all right, a good gold. Probably might be the best parallel, numbered parallel we've hit in all 10 boxes so far. So, all right, we got Ronald Acuna. It's a sweet card. And we got a nice retail blue. At least it's a rookie. And Aqua. I'm telling you, the Aquas, gosh. <laughs> I love the parallels, but man, you just, it's like we're avoiding the big names here. We're avoiding the big names in the Aquas. I think at some point I'd hit them. Nice Aaron Judge. This guy could hit 60 again this year. He is. Someone said he's on pace for. He's on pace for more than the record right now. Like he's. Or I guess he's got more home runs than he did when he broke the record with 62. So. If he stays healthy, he will. I mean, I have no doubt about it. He just. He's such a great hitter. That's what that's what makes him a great home run hitter is, man. He can pick his pitches, and then he can just go after it. I don't know. And we got Zach Neto on the Future Stars. That's not a bad one there. But, uh, no, Aaron Judge is a stud. He can hit home runs, but, man, he can, he can hit for average, too, which is really good. Oh, nice Shohei Otani. I'd love to grade cards like this, but, like, the back being black, it's hard it's hard not to, there's a little white on that corner. It's hard to get a PSA 10 out of something like this. I would grade this um, cause, just because it's Shohei. If you didn't have, you know, the black on the back. Um, just because these all-star cards are cool. They remind me of the black gold uh, inserts from the last couple of years. And the colored parallel hits of those are really, really good looking. We got J.D. Martinez on the rainbow foil. And that guy. It's like we're just not not getting the rookies. We've got Shohei on the insert, not bad. 
Alexander Canario. Don't know him, but it's a rookie. I guess we'll take it. All right, we need... Let me see if we can hit another parallel here. Sometimes you get two number parallels in a in a box. We do have a backwards card, which this is gonna be a purple. Stuart Fairchild. Again, just not the names. Straw. We'll take it. So two numbered. So we had 13 hits, 13 parallels in that box. So we'll take it. It's like I don't know if I'm selling this set to you guys with fanatics at all because the sell is the parallels the downside is the the checklist <laughs> which is why you just just don't go all out in series one series two you collect what you want out of the set you know and then don't don't expect big value out of it although i will say i mean gold mirrors True photo variations. Those are those are pretty those are pretty sweet. Uh, Jake McCarthy. All right. Nothing really of interest so far. That gold is probably the best so far. Blue Boba shit. Nice color match. We got a got a, some good color matches. And the blue is just again not the big names. Man, I did the I did the tree mints. You, you think uh, you know some special's coming here? We'll see. Joey Votto, Marcus Simeon. I mean Yamamoto, Mason Wynn, Aqua. I mean that'll do it. That'll be the hit you're looking for. We got Lindor in the Chrome, Jordan Adams. I feel like at one point he was a decent, you know, rookie prospect or a Bowman prospect, but because I remember his Bowman card having a little value at one point. And we got Corbin Carroll, my man that does not hit home runs anymore. Just no power this year. He's looks like he's starting to hit a little better, but man. Either the league adjusted to that guy, or he just he just forgot how to hit. I don't know. J.D. Stewart, Rainbow Foil, Will Smith, Yamamoto on the uh, MLB Stars MLB. All right, what do we got here? Ronald Acuna on the insert and Shane Baz. Man, it's a, it's a lot of aquas to hit and just totally avoid the big rookies. <laughs> I'm amazed by it, but oh well. All right, we got a numbered to 199. This would be this would be a red. This would be red. Let's uh, Bryce Jarvis. Do a quick turn here. Something big here. Something big. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nothing. Lance McCullers. Great, great hit. I mean, as far as that's a this is a good parallel, rare, rare parallel. We'll take it. Trying to sleeve this green. And actually, these three boxes have provided a good number of parallels. Four, four number of parallels out of this. So that's that's uh, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. So that's probably the hit of the box. Again, great hits, just not the names, and I just. You just, I'm just looking at this aqua. I'm like, this can't be a good name. Nothing else has been a good name so far. Drew Smiley. That should be an SP almost. I feel like. Hmm. All right. It is not. No, it's definitely not. But, uh, nope, that's it. <clears throat> um, again, I mean, maybe this video will kind of tell you maybe. Maybe stay away from Series 2 a little bit. It's nothing, you know, hangers or bangers. I get all that. But, like, are you hitting the names? You're getting parallels. These boxes, loaded, loaded with parallels. Look at all the aquas. I mean, look at this. Three boxes. These are all parallels. You also have three rainbow foils, three retail blues. And then we got four, four numbered cards. Really good low numbered 199. We got a gold, 
green, actually pretty low numbered. I mean, these are three pretty rare hits right there. So overall, not bad. Not much to recap. Um, again, the green and the purple, four ninety nine, seven ninety nine, not bad. And then probably the hit of the break would be the Jose Tena, just because it's he's a decent rookie. It's a gold. There's probably people that collect them. And then a nice low numbered red, Lance McCullers. So we'll take it. Um, again, if you're looking for value, this is not the set to do it. Um, if you love parallels, have fun with parallels. This is definitely good. This this fanatics, they're good boxes. They are. They're worth the money when it comes to flagship series two. Uh, definitely hangers and fanatics boxes, I would say, are the best. But but that is all we have. Uh, may not have any videos again till Tops Chrome. So when Tops Chrome comes out, I don't know what we're gonna do. I did, I, I got a hobby box coming, and then I want to get a case of Tops Chrome, but. 40, uh, like, and I'm talking blaster boxes, 40 bucks a blaster box. Gosh, if it, if we can get them for 35, I'll do it. 40. It's a, it's a great checklist. Good rookie class, but man, I don't know about 40. So we'll see. Definitely. I'll open up a hobby box on the channel. Uh, but tops Chrome be our next set coming out. I think that's it for series two though. I'm not, I'm not going to buy any more of it, but, uh, definitely, definitely is fun to open. You got to open up some flagships. So thanks for joining. Uh, like and subscribe. You guys like the content. We'll see you guys in the next video probably in, I would say, a couple weeks. Adios.